So in my quest for odd and obscure, I want to look at a few more specialty tools that are great for low clearance situations for driving fasteners. One of the ones that caught my eye is this interesting interchangeable head ratcheting wrench. Now at first glance, it actually looks a lot more capable than it is. These are not standard 3.8, meaning that you can't actually fit them into a normal 3.8 and you're pretty much stuck using their kind of hokey, DeWalt inspired. And in this orientation, it's pretty limited. What strikes me about this is the ability to use it in an offset. One of the best options I, I can think of is to actually just use a 13 millimeter socket to be able to hold it in. And then you can actually drive it and you get some really tight angles in there. Again, you, you could have, you know, a wobble or something to, to give you more of an offset or an actual 90 on there. But the advantage of something like this is you can place it on the fastener where you have very low clearance and then adjust it and then hook your drive up to it. These are going to overlap with some of the ratcheting open-ended crow's feet that are out there. However, there are very few crow foot inspired ratcheting heads. Something like this, maybe a quarter inch drive, would actually be a lot more capable. And then you could use something like a long bar quarter inch, have it connected on here, a ton of offset ability on here as these things really are no thicker than a standard gear ratchet in the same size, in this case 14 millimeter both. As far as ratcheting, they're just kind of your cheap Chinesium ratcheting wrenches. They work definitely kind of a specialty tool where you'd only want to use them when you are in those tight situations. The size selection, it is nice that you get an 8, so 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17, and 19. Would be nice to see a 15 in there. Uh, I'll let you decide which one you'd rather not get to get that. It just seems like this should be the female side. And then you could use a standard 3 8 drive. The rest of the stuff is just adapters so you can drive quarter inch hex bits as well. This comes in around 35 bucks. And the interesting thing is if you look at the Amazon reviews, almost all of them are these Vine voices, which basically means they are professional reviewers for Amazon that get the tools for free. And in my mind, one of the biggest warning flags is when you see these top 100, top 1000 reviewers, do you really think a top 100 reviewer, Amazon products in general, is gonna be able to provide a good assessment of some weird Chinesium? Man, these reviews are getting pretty suspect when 90% of the reviews are done by either Vine people or very early into the product life cycle, I'll probably take this to my mini mill and bring these down to 3 8 size and see if I could get them to work. Probably get something smaller in there. And again, it gives you a pretty intriguing offset opportunity. So I would be on the lookout for a similar ratcheting flex head pro foot style tool like this. I'd say this one's a no-go. I'm not sure if I'll return it or try and modify them a little bit. Even something like putting a socket on this, it, it gives you some additional capabilities if you do have to deal with very tight clearances. Might be worth considering. If it gets you out of a jam, I'm going to do a little mini-series of some other tools for these tight clearance things over the next week or two here. If there's any you'd like me to look at in particular, let me know in the comments below. Well, thanks for checking this out. Please hit subscribe if you like my content, as it really, really will help the channel at this point. And always have a good night. Thanks.